pretty precarious weather we're having. It's hovering around zero degrees Celsius with expected ice rain on the forecast going down to negative one or negative two tonight. I'm a pretty hefty hike away from the car and I only have limited gear in my backpack, which I plan to spend the night out here with. I have a knife, a saw, a ferro rod, a cookie pot, two mylar blankets and 10 meters of paracord. Also in this bag, I have a bit of food, a bit of extra clothing and camera equipment. What I don't have is a sleeping bag or any kind of shelter. Because I'm about six kilometers away from my car, this is just a YouTube video and I'm out here to have fun. I have an emergency kit just in case things go south. I don't plan to use anything in here. It should be a fun one. I plan to use the natural structure around here to make a shelter using the few tools that I have. There's so many wicked little spots around here to make a shelter. This is a potential because I have this nice reflective surface. I could have a fire here, set up the reflective tarp, and just have it all. A nice little warm bubble here. Or down in here. This place is awesome. I have the fire right here. I have uh, a little draft tube here <laughs> to help ventilate the smoke. I gotta try it. This is pretty cool. I think later I'll bring the fire closer down here in order to be closer to my body. But for now, this gives me a lot of space. I got my nice rock seat. Goes to show that a good shelter is just a natural one. The cavemen had it right. Now I am one of them. Since I already have the fire established, now would be the time for me to go around collecting spruce boughs for insulating me from the ground. But because I don't really feel like stealing from these trees, they probably need the spruce, <laughs> they probably need these boughs more than I do. I'm just gonna use that foam pad for uh, insulating me from the ground tonight. There's lots of softwood in the area, but uh, I'm really looking forward a big piece of standing dead hardwood because it'll just allow me to not have to stoke the fire as much tonight. But this is a start. <laughs> well, this area is absolutely just such a gem to find. These rocks behind me are called erratics and they're basically just rocks that were deposited here from the last ice age by glaciers. So they're completely out of place and quite massive to be honest. I haven't seen them ever this large in this area. So what a treat and what a find. What a find indeed. I guess it's pretty obvious where the heat is getting to. 
this is all super dry. This is wet and so cold. It's quite warm to the touch. Down here is still frosted. So uh, makes me think maybe it would be more beneficial to have the fire in here and then sleep here. I might play around with it. It'll make it easier to get out. I don't know if I necessarily want to burn this rock. It's quite beautiful. Over here, it's a little bit out of the way and less invasive. If I, if I burn a fire here, it'll scorch the inside of this rock and I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Woo! Woo! Hot! I'm hungry. So for dinner, chicken thighs, baked potato, some salt, some pepper, Montreal chicken seasoning. This is going to be a really, really nice meal to be eating in my golem hole. Turns out I'm not going to be using most of the things I brought. I don't think I have use for that mylar sheet at this point. The rope I would only use if I use the mylar sheet. I guess you just need to find a cave. This is lucky. This is lucky. I guess it just goes to show that nothing really beats just good old natural structure. So excited for this, holy. Yeah, that's that's good, that's good to go. I would normally use cheddar here, but I had mozzarella at home. It's just like, uh, it's good. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, that's, that's beautiful as well. All right, time to eat. Artichoke and Asiago dip. This will fuel me through the night. Wow, it's quite nice in here. So I have an okay supply of wood right now. I think it might be enough to, to get through the night. I don't quite know. It's hard to tell. Usually you need more than you think. But I don't really want to harvest too many trees in the area. However, I did find some trees that I could go harvest if I need to. Uh, I'm going to leave them for now and see where I'm at before I go to bed.
there's definitely a little bit of a breeze coming through there. It is helping draft the smoke out, but it is cold. That's all it is, is that gap there. There we go. Probably a bit high, but no melt. I like my cave. I really like it. It's so funny because like I look up at these I look up at these rock face and you just wanna imprint it with your mark. It's very, very tempting. Of course I won't graffiti it. But I can see why you know. why our ancestors did. Inspiring. So it's around 10.30, I'm probably gonna crawl into my hole and uh, lay by the fire, maybe drift off to sleep. I'm gonna start a time lapse so you can witness me tossing and turning as I try to catch some Z's tonight. If I get up, I'm probably using the washroom. Might get wood, might do something around here. This will do. Good night, everyone. <laughs> that was uh that was absolutely miserable. Almost immediately, there's a cold breeze coming through that channel there. I used the emergency blanket last night to stop the wind, that little gentle breeze from uh, getting at my backside. Honestly, sleeping in that hole, it, it fixed my back pain. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it was very uncomfortable. Now I know why we don't sleep in holes and we sleep in homes. Makes sense now. I just had to experience it, you know? bucket of coffee in the morning. It's kind of interesting how a place like this can become your home. This hole underneath this rock in the dirt is my home. I like this hole, but I'm not going to miss it. No, I'm not going to miss sleeping down there. <laughs> yeah, time to go.